last week. Yeah. That made history. That made them notice. That's one of the reasons why MGN has pulled out. Down at Farrington, there was actually a site invasion where we'd uh, forced our way on the site. And it was to prove a point that we shouldn't be barred from site. The particular site, Langer Rocks, they're one of the main blacklisters. And they blacklisted a lot of activists and we just felt we need to show a union presence, really. There's no point just standing here. We're here to make a point to the big contractors that are going to cut people's wages by 35%. So, we're going to wait for a little bit more for people to turn up and then we're going to fire off. This is an NG Bailey site. They're one of the biggest blacklisters of all the electrical contractors. I think you know who we work for, don't you? <laughs> Revolution starts with one. Revolution starts with him. Don't be a follower. Free your mind from all your sins. We have the power. Fulfill your destiny. Don't fight this system, just let it be, let it be. Be a master of your heart, be a master of your craft. Very good vibes is all that I know, so don't talk about just that start. Revolution starts with one, revolution starts with win. Don't be a follower, free your heart from all your sins. Scripts, let's go. Yo, living is hard and death is easy. How when the hell shit this please me? You don't understand what I talk, cause your mind's trapped in the fog. Here's a compass and a light. I'm gonna guide your ass to the light. It's called the government freed us up. Who's gonna free yourself? Try to let my mind close. Oh. heard MJ and Colson's have pulled out. There are others that are wavering. We need to maintain this pressure. Major clients, they're beginning to ask questions. They're getting worried because they know this is coming to their doorsteps. I think Liverpool is the first demonstration today. Manchester, Scotland, Newcastle. It's definitely building. And if we keep this up, we can get all these firms to stay within the JRB. And we're also demanding off your night, which was mentioned last week, a national ballot of all construction workers. Yeah. They seem to be dragging their heels, but we need to up the, up the ante, email Bernard McCauley, and demand a national ballot of electricians, pipe fitters, plumbers, and spread it across the whole industry. This is the agreement they're trying to impose on you. Within this agreement, there's no independent grading. No continuation of current travel benefits. No protection from layoff or short-term working. No control over agency or self-employment. No clear training route for apprentices. It's an outrage. No independent disputes procedure without protection from day one of employment. And no rights for the unions as stakeholder of those national agreements. The government and your employers are saying there's no choice. We all have to take the pain. We all have to pull our belts in. That's a load of bullets. The rich are getting richer and those at the bottom are getting poorer. It's not just the 1,000 richest people in this country who together own £335 billion. £335 billion which would pay the national deficit two times over. It's not just those people, it's in your own industry. Gratz, Shepherds, Clark's 5 million profit. Crown House, 10 million profit. Bailey's 20 million. Balfour's 50 million. Stand firm, stand together, your region's going to support you 100%. Thank you. The Shrewsbury pickets back in 1972 got sent to jail for three years for organising a picket during the 1972 builder strike. They just discussed organising pickets and organising things like we're doing today. Sent to jail, Des Warren and Ricky Tomlinson. Please make some noise for Mick Abbott. Yeah. 40 years next year is the anniversary of, when, of, of the 1972 strike which I was involved in. And that's the last time we're direct action like this took place and I hope that you people lead the way and get the rest of the country, the construction industry, back where it used to be when we had a strong trade union rank and file leadership. Yeah. After last week at Farringdon Station, 
You may have noticed that there's lots of security guards and lots of police on the main entrance over here. And rather than standing round here, there's more than one entrance to this site. All those in favour of doing the other entrance? Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going down now. When you hit the road, we're turning left. Let's go. from there, you will be a man. And you will be the leader of a big old man. This group of companies are trying to break national agreements, reduce wages, de-skill workers. This is absolutely critical for the future of trade unions in the construction sector. So we're here to say to these companies, people are not going to take this line down, they're fighting back. And if that takes industrial action, we'll bring on the ballot and let's have that action. NG Baileys have a 70 million M&E package on Tottenham Court Road. Lago Rock have got a 60 million package on Bond Street. The bigger three of this breakaway group are thriving with prospects for the future and they are going to make a fucking fortune. Crown House Engineering, which was bought over by Lago Rock. He took it in after Heathrow experiences down at Heathrow he made up his mind there and then, fuck the JIB, and I am going to run this company and organize the m &E side of my jobs how I feel fit. And this is where he started. This agreement, tied up with Balfour Beatty, Shepherd's Engineering tied up with their main contractor, Shepherd Construction, and they are the three main agitators and instigators of this. These people are a half a dozen individuals within these companies. If we all took in a deep breath and spat, we drown the bastards. They are rich. They are few and we are many. Another great show in it, eh, today? We go up to the front, go round through the concourse. One more show of strength before we all can work day till next week, yeah? Yeah! Let's go! of the general public are a bit baffled at what's happening today. These are electricians and construction workers who the bosses are currently trying to rob. They're trying to take 35% of their wages away and do in their national agreements. I've got something here in front of me, lads. It's a little bit of history. It's a book that's been read by building workers for generations. It's called The Ragged Trousered Philanthropist. Yeah. Yeah. This is about a building employer who doesn't want to employ his labour on the right rates because he knew there was a recession. And that employer knew that if he held back, the man would work for less than the going rate. But for the bad summer, is there any possibility of getting some work? And the employer turned to him and said, maybe so, you know what the rate is, it's six and a half pence an hour, five weeks, he hadn't paid his rent, his children hadn't ate, but the man still hesitated. The employer said to him, well, are you coming or not? Are you going to take it or leave it? Now that is the choice that you've been given by your employer. Are you going to take it or are you going to leave it? And I'll tell you what, you're simply not taking it because this is not 1904, it's 2011. You're putting up a fight. To the union, don't tell me how hard it is with the 
pilot. I got up at three o'clock this morning to get here. Don't tell me about a membership list. You get 40 grand to get it right out of our pockets. Get the ballot, we'll get the yes vote. Let's have us out on November the 30th and join the millions of others. Electricians, sparks and fares joining the public sector. Ballot or no ballot, legal or illegal, unofficial or official, I would be putting on pickets on jobs and closing them down. Robert 